petroglyphs, which are rock carvings. A lot of them in the monument date back perhaps as early as 3,000 years ago. A lot of times you see depicted um, bighorn sheep and uh, sometimes bear paws. Occasionally human figures, but a lot of animals. So I would presume that there was a lot of hunting, maybe drawing a herd of bighorn sheep or just one sheep to provide luck. A circle or a spiral circle might indicate water because sometimes we find them near springs or, or drainages. Uh, occasionally, I, I know I've seen uh, what appears to be women wearing uh, probably buckskin dresses, which is kind of unusual, but definitely a more ute motif. People who vandalize are trying to express themselves, perhaps. Um, sometimes when they deface rock art, it's, it's sort of a disgusting way of saying, I'm more important than these people were, or I'm just as important. Human nature seems to be like that. You want to say you were here, but to destroy something so ancient and so valuable, I. I don't get it, and it's just immoral more than anything. It's just the wrong thing to do. I think it's really important to preserve rock hard and, and anything doing with the past, not only for our own sake, because we can enjoy it and we can learn from it, but for the sake of the Ute Indians. This was their heaven, this was their homeland. They didn't leave it there for us. They had no idea we were gonna come along, but it, it's, uh, it's sort of a poignant reminder of, of who was here for thousands of years before we came.